Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. iOS 18 developer beta 5 is out after the two weeks of developer beta 4 and pretty much almost one week of developer beta 4 re-released version because that re-released was because of a couple of bugs that was fixed in that re-released. Well, it is out. The update size is about 2.36 gigs as you can see. You need to know that it is not going to take any extra storage. It is going to overwrite. So no need to worry about that. In this video, I'm going to cover a couple of things. I'm just, I'm making this video right away. So I haven't updated yet. If you want to update, what you can do is set, go to settings, go to general, go to software update and wait for here. And here you will see the update. If you are on the beta updates, if you have chosen the profile of iOS 80 developer beta. If you are on public beta, you will not see the update. If you want to try out developer version, you can also get this one according to your choice. It totally depends upon you. Although I am running the developer one and I also have tried the public one. So I am enjoying both the versions according to my choice. This is also you can do. For now, I don't know what is new in this version, but there are a couple of new changes. Apple removed a console in photos application according to the ios 18 feedback we all know that photo application is completely revamped i liked it it is quite controversial but still people are not liking it it is quite hard to understand what is going on in the photos application but still i think until the ios 18 public release apple might make other some changes but for now in the ios 18 developer beta 5 carousel is removed from photos application I am hoping that I am pronouncing the word in a right way. Also, there is a new feature in the Safari that is known as distraction control. Uh, I will definitely talk about this feature when I will update this. I am going to definitely update this right away. But I wanted to tell you guys that iOS 18 developer beta 5 is out. That is why I am making this video. Before moving into the developer beta 5, let's recap the developer beta 4. Talking about the developer beta 4, the Geekman scores were going over here. Here you can see 2289 on a single core and 5576 on a multi core. That was really, really good. It's decent one. Multi core is not the best. Uh, multi core is basically the best. Single core is not the best, but still it's quite a decent one as you can see. And you can also compare, you can take a screenshot to have a better idea. These two scores were from beta 1 of iOS 18. They were from beta 2, beta 3, beta 4 and this one is from public beta 2. For now, these are the, some of the scores that you can have idea regarding how the, it is performing. Also, giving a look to the battery life of iOS 18 developer beta 4 to have an um, idea about the beta 5. Let the battery stats explode, go over here, over here on this day. As you can see, I used my phone for around 75 to 80%. And I got 6 hours and 4 minutes screen on time which is quite decent which means that yes battery life is also improving how the betas are coming out which is really good. So yeah iOS 18 developer beta 5 is out if you want to install this you can do if you are already on iOS 18 developer any beta version you can definitely install this because whenever a new beta version is coming Apple is trying to bring more stability, better performance, better life and with every single version everything is performing everything is uh, getting better that is what at least i am expecting from um, this and that is also that i am getting from this version so that's it from this video i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video until that take care peace out